Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to show you the introduction to geospatial data analysis with ArcPython and ArcGIS Pro. So now let me explain about ArcGIS Pro and ArcPython. So ArcGIS Pro is a desktop GIS application that allows you to view, edit and analyze the spatial data. So what is a spatial data analysis? The spatial data analysis involves using a geographic information to gain insight and make a decision. So ArcPython scripting. So ArcPython is a Python site package that allows you to automate the task in ArcGIS applications. So introduction to ArcPython and ArcGIS and spatial data. So if you are new to the world of GIS and spatial data and getting started with ArcPython and ArcGIS Pro can be daunting. However, with a little guidance, you will be able to create and manipulate the spatial data in no time. The beginner's guide will provide you too with an introduction to ArcPython and ArcGIS Pro and spatial data as well as some tips and tricks uh, to help you get started. So what is an ArcPython? So ArcPython is a Python site package that provides a useful and efficient way to automate and customize an ArcGIS Pro. It allows you to write a Python script to automate many common GIS tasks such as geos processing, mapping and analysis. So what is a GIS, ArcGIS Pro? So ArcGIS Pro is a powerful desktop GIS application that allows you to create, analyze and share spatial data. It provides in a modern and uh, intuitive user interface as well as a wide range of tools and capabilities for working with spatial data. So what is spatial data? So spatial data refers to any data that has geographic location attached to it. This includes uh, things like map, satellites, imagery, and GPS data. The spatial data can be used to create a maps and perform a spatial analysis and make an informed decision based on the geographic context of the data. So ArcPython provides a powerful set of tools for data analysis and allowing the user to automate the geospatial workflow and perform a complex data manipulation. For example, the ArcPython can be used to extract the data from a multiple sources and perform the statistical analysis and generate a reports. The mapping and visualization. The ArcGIS Pro is a powerful mapping and visualization tool that allows users to create a detailed and interactive maps. With ArcGIS Pro, the user can create a maps from a variety of data sources, including a satellite imagery, and performs an advanced geospatial analysis. This makes it an ideal tool for a range of applications from urban planning to environmental monitoring. The real-world applications, the ArcPy, uh, ArcPython and ArcGIS Pro have a wide range of real-world applications in the fields such as urban planning, natural resource management, emergency responses. For example, ArcGIS Pro has been used to create a detailed maps of wild uh, fire risk areas, allowing an emergency responders to quickly identify the high-risk areas and allocate the resources accordingly. The ArcPython has been used to automate the processing of the satellite imagery for use in the land use planning and natural resources management. So advantage of an ArcPython allows for the greater customization and automation of the workflows. Advantage of ArcGIS Pro offers a modern interface and uh, streamlined workflows for GIS professionals. The limitation of ArcGIS Pro may require an additional licensing or software for its full functionality. Spatial data basics. So spatial data refers to an information that has been a geographic or the locational component. This can include the data such as addresses, zip codes, or latitudes and longitude coordinates. The spatial data is an essential component of GIS analysis as it allows for visualization and analysis of the data in geographic context. So why is the spatial data important in GIS analysis? So spatial data is critical for GIS analysis because it allows for identification of the patterns and relationship in the data in the data that may not be apparent in traditional tabular data by visualizing a data in geographic context the gis analyst can be identify it and a pattern that can inform a decision making and improve the understanding of the complex system and spatial data can also be used to create a maps and other visualization that can communicate a complexes so spatial data analysis techniques so one of the technique we can uh, visualize today is is interpolation the technique used to estimate the value for the location where the no data is available based on the surrounding data points so next is buffering 
A technique is used to create a buffer zone around a geographic feature such as a building or a water sources. Next is overlay analysis. A technique, uh, technique used to combine the multiple layers of spatial data to identify the areas where the different feature intersects or overlaps. So for example, urban planning, the spatial analysis techniques uh, can be used to analyze the population, density, land use pattern and transportation network to inform the urban planning decisions. So epidemiology, the spatial analysis technique that can be used to track the spread of diseases and identify the high risk area for the targeted interventions. The natural resource management, spatial analysis technique can be used to monitor and manage the natural resources such as the forest, waterways uh, to ensure the sustainable use and conservation. The geoprocessing tools in ArcGIS Pro the new features in geoprocessing uh, tools, the latest version of an RGIS Pro includes uh, several new features and advances in geoprocessing tools including an improved performance and scalability for large scale data, a new data conversion tools including support for more file format and improved interoperability with other softwares, the enhanced analysis tools such as new statistical and predictive modeling tools. Improved management tools including better integration with GIS online and support for a cloud-based data storage. So Python scripting with ArcPython. So Python is a popular language for scripting in ArcGIS due to its simplicity, the ease of use and, its, and the ability to automate the complex geoprocessing task compared to other languages. The Python offers several advantages for working with a GIS, ArcGIS data. The Python has a large and uh, active community of development which means there is a large resource available for learning and troubleshooting. The Python is a versatile language that can be used for a wide range of tasks beyond geoprocessing such as a web development and data analysis. The Python is an easy way to read and write which makes it accessible to the users with varying level of programming experiences. The Python script can run within ArcGIS which allows a seamless integration with geoprocessing tools and workflows. Examples of Python script for automating geoprocessing tasks is a batch processing raster, creating a custom toolboxes, extracting data from a feature class, sharing maps and data in ArcGIS Pro. So publishing to an ArcGIS Online, so ArcGIS Pro allows a user to publish the maps and data to ArcGIS Online a cloud-based platform for sharing and collaborating on GIS content. This enables the users to share their work with others and access it from anywhere with an internet connection. So sharing with colleagues, in addition to publishing ArcGIS online, the user can also share their maps and data with colleagues directly with ArcGIS Pro. This can also be done through various methods such as sharing a project packages or creating a shared folder. 3D mapping and visualization in ArcGIS Pro. So creating a 3D scenes. So in ArcGIS Pro allows the user to create a 3D scenes by importing a 3D data or creating a 3D geometrics from the scratch. The user can also add 2D data to their 3D scenes and view it in three dimensional space. The software provides a variety of tools to manipulate the 3D data and customize the scenes appearance. Exploring the 3D data. So ArcGIS Pro allows the user to explore the 3D data by navigating the 3D scenes and analyzing the data. The user can measure distance and angles, create profiles and view the cross section of the 3D data. The software also provides the tool to perform a spatial analysis on 3D data. Integrating with other tools and applications. So ArcGIS Pro allows the user to, users to integrate the 3D data and map with other tools and applications. The user can export the 3D scenes as a web scenes which can be shared and accessed through a web browser or other applications. The software also provides an APIs and SDKs for developments to build an a custom application that uses the RGIS Pro's 3D mapping and visualization capabilities. So the key takeaways from the RGIS Pro presentation for RGIS Pro and RGIS Python. So mapping. Use an ArcGIS Pro's mapping tools to create a high quality mapping with ease. The leverage pre-built templates and layout to quickly create a professional looking maps. Use a symbology tool to customize the appearance of your data. Analysis. So ArcGIS Pro analysis tools allows you to perform a complex spatial analysis with ease. 
uses the geoprocessing tool to perform a spatial analysis such as a buffering, clipping and intersecting. They leverage the raster analysis tool to perform a complex analysis on a raster data. Visualization So ArcGIS Pro Visualization tool allows you to create an interactive and engaging visualization of your spatial data. Use a 3D visualization tool to create a stunning 3D maps and scene. They leverage the anim animation tools to create a dynamic and engaging visualization of your data. So thanks for your attention. So more ArcGIS Python and ArcGIS Pro tutorials will be made. So please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Thanks for watching.